Hey, hey, everybody. We're very excited about this because this is episode one, you guys, of the New Build broadcast. I have the New Build babe herself, Mm -hmm. Megan Lindholm, on. And what we're going to do here is every other week, we're going to hop on. We're going to give you a little brief synopsis of what's going on as far as New Build communities around the Valley, okay? So we're going to pick all sorts of different areas of the Valley because, I mean, you know, you guys have been driving around. It's like, there's a New Build community, there's a New Build community, there's a New Build community, (laughs) kind of all. All over the valley, right? So they're popping up everywhere. We uh, have our fingers on the pulse of these new builds, and we want to bring this information to you. So each, every other week, actually, we're going to be doing the live show here. That way, you'll be able to follow us, learn a little bit about it. And if you want to tour these new builds with Megan, you can absolutely do so the following week. So first week's going to be learn all about it live here, right here on this page. Second week is going to be tour it with the babe. All right, babe, what community are we talking about today? We're talking about uh, Barney Farms in Queen Creek. Awesome. And now I know that you're very familiar, but for those of you who aren't familiar with the Queen Creek area, we'll, we're going to bring up a map. We're going to show you where that is. But Queen Creek back in the day, like the day day, right? Like a decade ago, used to be way out in the boonies. And now it's not. There is so much stuff popping up down there. Every time I'm there and I'm there often, I find something new. There's, you know, shopping, there's restaurants, there's absolutely everything you could need. You don't need to leave the bubble. Megan, let's see where this community is at. Okay. So the community is going to be right here. And, um, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of shopping around the area. Over here, we have um, Trader Joe's and Target. There's a Walmart over here, um, Kohl's, PetSmart, pretty much everything that you need. Um, Aldi, I don't know if anybody's, you know, familiar with Aldi, but I, I used to live in Iowa and that was like, that was our jam. Like we went there, you know, for all oh, of Oh, no our- kidding. Yeah, so many good deals there. So, yeah. Awesome. So the location is great. I mean, you, yeah. you hop right on Ellsworth, you shoot right up, you can get to, uh, you know, the 202. It's not too far from there. She's right. As far as it being close to downtown Queen Creek, there's cute little mom and pop bars there and, you know, different restaurants and things like that. So it's not way out there. Like some of these new build communities are, it's actually really, really well, like conveniently located. Right. Yeah. They're building a lot over there as far as shopping and restaurants. Um, So you're not, um, you're not very remote, you know, like people might think. So. Yeah, absolutely. And for those that are watching this, that might be considering moving from another state, that's super important information because they may not be quite familiar with the setup here. All right. So what, uh, what, what, who builds there? Um, So it's Fulton homes and, um, they, this community actually has, um, it has over, uh, 20 different floor plans. So it has a lot. Wow. Um, the majority of them are single, single level and, um, the others, they're not full story. They're lofts. So they're like, they're built to just have like a one or two bedroom upstairs with a loft and a bathroom. Cool. And yeah. So if you had like, maybe you have a teenager, you know, you, they can have kind of the full upstairs or, you know, your two children, if you have two bedrooms, you know, and nice to, the it's, masters are always downstairs. On um, It's nice to have the master on the, on the uh, ground floor, I guess you want yeah. to call it that. In my house, that's the way my house is set up. The master's on that main living level, which I mean, I plan on them taking me out of my house feet first. So, <laughs> um, I'll be older and I'll be really appreciative that my master is on the ground level. So, yep. (laughs) I wouldn't move out of your house either. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. So, you know, starting price is 540. Um, They have anything from a three bedroom to six bedroom. Actually, they can actually go up to seven bedroom in some of the lofts. Um, And uh, they have the option, you can have the option of a a three or four car uh, tandem garage, which is amazing. That Um, is nice. Yeah, it just depends on the floor plan, so. 
you know, even if you don't have more than one or two vehicles, it's still nice to have that extra space for storage, for bikes, for, you know, whatever it is that you got going on Christmas deco. I don't know what people put in there, but it's nice to have that extra storage for sure. So I'm glad that they're going that extra mile and, and making the larger garages. That's awesome. Yeah. So as far as going to visit these communities, it's really important that you contact Megan. Megan, what's a good way to contact you? Um, I mean, you could text me or or call or just get a hold of me on Facebook. I'm always on Facebook. So which phone number? Uh, oh, sorry. 480-788-5336. Awesome. Get with Megan. She knows the ins and outs of working with these builders. Um, Fulton, in my experience, has been a great builder. I've sold many Fulton homes and my clients have, have been very happy with them. But there's things that go sideways during the build process. There's things that you need to know before you're sitting down and putting pen to paper and you're, you're drafting a contract. Some of these builders, and I'm not saying it's Fulton specifically, even though I know some specifics about what Fulton's doing, because I've got a Fulton going on right now. Um, but you know, in some cases, when you give your deposit, and that can be um, a good chunk of money when you put down your earnest deposit. In some cases, it's non-refundable. So you want to make sure that you're with an expert, that you get a professional. By the way, the builders pay for the professional to represent you. So yes. as a buyer, you're not paying for that. Like, why wouldn't you want representation of somebody that knows these things, that can give you some insight, can give you some guidance, and kind of knows the things to look for? I can tell Absolutely. you stories that will like curl your toenails about um, things that have gone wrong in the build, things that people shouldn't have put into their structural upgrades that never paid them back in the long run, things that they shouldn't have done at the design center that really just whacked out their budgets and wasn't necessary. Like there's just so much, people don't think of that, but there's just so much information that we carry um, as representation because we've been through so many of these, right? So I got 15 years here and I've sold over 1,070 homes. You learn a thing or two when you sell a bunch of homes like that. You start seeing patterns pop up. You see things happen to people, hopefully other people, not your clients, but you see things happen to people that shouldn't have happened. And so you, you're... With representation, you have a better chance of avoiding those pitfalls and having a, more of a smooth transaction. Why wouldn't you at no cost? And why wouldn't you with the most expensive, really investment that you're going to make in your entire life? So I'll get off the soapbox, but I Absolutely. had to share that. I agree. I think if you're, you know, if whether you're buying a, a resale home or a new home, you need somebody to represent your best interests. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, stories like, homes that have been built on the wrong lots before. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, oh my God. and that's not even, that's not even like, that's tip of the iceberg. So I got many more for you. If you mm -hmm. are, if any of you want to message me and ask me about the horror stories, <laughs> I'd be happy to share. <laughs> Maybe we should share one horror story every show. Per show, there's the one <laughs> wrong lot, built the house on the wrong lot. Can you imagine? All right, so what's up next? So we did area, we did the, the builder, we did the floor plans that they have available. Um, as far as incentives and what, what the rules are, you know, with giving the earnest deposit, um, you know, are they on a lottery? Are they bidding on lots? I know Fulton bids on lots, but it's really important to get with Megan on those details mm -hmm. and she'll be able to, you know, decipher all of those things for you so that you have a better understanding of what you're getting yourself into. I've yeah. heard some... We'll do a second horror story. I've heard some yeah. horror stories of people that have signed on new build contracts and something has changed in their life and whoop, away went 20 grand deposit. Oh yeah. Yeah. And this one, this uh, builder is a little bit different um, than some others that I've worked with, um, at, you know, as far as the, the, the whole process goes. Um, I like it. Like I, I, prefer it. But yeah, if you want more details on that, then definitely get a hold of me. Totally agree. And now you're going to be touring this neighborhood physically. Yes. Yep. Next week, we'll be touring it um, Tuesday at 1130. Um, so you can meet me there in front of the sales office. And, um, and then, you know, I'll take you through each model and answer your questions and, you know, um, just kind of go through the, the building process. So. 
Awesome. I, I know that that is super helpful, especially for those like I'm, I'm a visual person. I want to see the upgrades. I want to see uh, the floor plans physically. And so I know that there's a lot of people out there like that. So that's a really great time. And side note, it's also a really great time if you're like, hmm, new builds are cool, but I just want to go for design ideas. That's a really great time to meet up with Megan because she likes doing that too. I love looking at really cool homes. You know that. Like I love looking at all the fancy homes and the new builds because I get all kinds of ideas. Yeah, absolutely. All right. What do we got for schools? Okay. So for schools, sorry. Um, okay. So um, we have several schools here around the neighborhood. This is the neighborhood here. And um, we have, uh, this is the Benjamin Point Franklin Charter School, um, that's K through six. And then up here we have the Benjamin Franklin High School, seven through 12. They like that name. Yeah, apparently. It's hard to say though. <laughs> um, Legacy Traditional School here, which is K through nine. Um, so that's, that's really close by. And then Happy Valley School, East Campus. Um, we also have the Queen Creek High School over here. So yeah, we have several options. There's also um, the uh, Catherine Mecham Barney Elementary School. Uh, hopefully I didn't you know butcher that name. That's okay. Um, Ashley Schultz does it all the time. You're not okay. alone. <laughs> that's gonna be right there in the community. So there's elementary school that's going to be right there. That's so convenient. I love having school close. That's awesome. Absolutely. Super. Is there anything else about this neighborhood that obviously there's a lot more about this neighborhood? Okay. But there's get with so Megan much. on those details um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because everybody's going to have their own specific questions. But is there anything else that you wanted to go over today? I think we covered it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, New Build Babe. It was wonderful learning a little bit about Barney Farms by Fulton Homes. Make sure if you want to visit this community that you're contacting Megan or join her next Tuesday at 1130, you said? Uh, yes. Awesome. And we put the link in the show notes. So if you want to join Megan, just click that link, RSVP, and all the info is in there. All right, New Build Babe. Have an awesome right. day. Bye. Bye.